Dang, that's the stupidest I've ever seen in my life. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Bobby? Yeah, Robert? Can you read Divrisky's endgame manual to us one more time? Yeah, yeah, one more time. Hi okay, guys, it's late. We gotta get up early tomorrow. Bobby? Yes, Danny? My throat's still dry. You've already had five glasses of water. And you remember <laughs> what happened last time. It was an accident. Danny pees his bed. You, you Danny pees right, his bed. You peed the bed right. too. Good night, guys. Night. Good night, yeah. Good night, Bobby. That's actually pretty good. By the way, I'm pretty sure, just to be clear, I'm pretty sure that's one of Dan Danny Wrench's kids' room, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So that that's actually pretty funny. All right, what do we have next? What's this one? The World Best Championship. The champion. Robert Hess. What? The challenger. Robert Hess. <laughs> Watch the only Twitch broadcast with Robert Hess on chess.com slash TV. Your home for the World Air Championship. That's actually great. That's hilarious. That's really, really well done. I'm glad I didn't actually watch these clips. This is really good. What else? What's this? Guys, what's here? Robert. It's here. No way. It's here, dude. Hold on. Hold on. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yeah, baby. It is the World Hess Championship. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I this like the copyright, the copyright too. Where's that, Danny? But you, you get it. No, look at it. Look at it. You'll see. You'll see. Here. There's a few others. It's the design. Oh, the that cool one's nice. Thing. That one's nice. nice. Here, I want that one. You see it? Bobby, you get it now? You see it? No, I have no idea what. No. His face, there's missing C's. I right? got it, Danny. Robert, you wanna explain it? You you know my name. The game you play, it's called chess. Right. And there's no word championship, it, it's championship. So there's a, a C, you know. You, no? Yeah? Yeah? No. <laughs> I mean, I think it's I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Don't you think people would, would buy this? I think this is one in its entirety, no. I don't think anyone's gonna buy that. Danny, that's the stupidest <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Well, holy Do you think it's too late to send it back? I ordered a lot. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a good one too. All right, next up, what do we have? This one, what is this? Let me adjust this one I'm too, by the way. Doing great today. It's a special day. <laughs> I have to say this is one of your more brilliant ideas and I'm glad the day has come. I cannot wait to see uh, what, how the world has Hampion performs today. We're gonna break down the world has Hampion's moments and moves throughout. Uh, Fabi, your thoughts on the beginning of the World Hess Championship? Oh, uh, guys, where's my shirt? You said you didn't want one. Yeah. Danny, I was just fucking with you. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I guess we'll, maybe we'll get Fabi a shirt tomorrow if they're not all sold out by then. But uh, obviously you can get yours today, and uh, I personally like the copyright C because don't ever say chess when you're not allowed to. Just say Hess. All right, we, uh, we. Oh, nice. By the way, the, the context of that is that you're that there's something with Fide Aegon stuff that you can't do. Um, all right, which one is this? Um, next one. What's this one? <laughs> Anish Giri is losing his mind with me on WhatsApp, and then he shared a DM. Anish Giri shared a DM of ours on Twitter. Is this coming a therapy session? Yeah, it's like, what are you doing, Anish? <laughs> if you mess up that screenshot. You're revealing a lot of things you and I talk about, if you know what I'm talking about. So let's let's keep this private between us, baby girl. Um, all right, there you go, and he, someone clip and ship that oh, to our boy. man who's a little Twitter trigger happy, okay? Keep our DMs where they belong, all right? All right, everybody, thank you for being here. Again, chess.com's coverage, which is presented by... Okay, okay then. All right, what do we have next? Next clip? Or this isn't a clip, I guess it's just, uh, is this a clip? What is this clip? Into the night. Oh, wait, did I already see this? We already saw this, the right? Of his very own room, where he found. No, no, we, are, we already saw this one. Uh, we just saw it on on YouTube. Okay. Um, 
Okay, what is what do we have next? We have this one. It's easier to play chess without the burden of an Adam's apple. <laughs> oh God! Oh, yeah. It's an entire world. Just yeah, sixty-four yeah. squares. I can control it. I can dominate it. It's predictable. So if I get hurt, I only have myself to blame. <laughs> Look what, at Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> yeah, so when, when's the match? <laughs> when's the match? Wesley wants to know when's your match versus Magnus. What kind of match are we talking about? <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> Robert, are you gonna are you gonna keep that? I gotta keep that hairstyle and then run for governor. Robert wants uh, Wesley wants to know if you're gonna keep that hairstyle and run for governor. Run for governor? Yeah. I thought more like I was gonna fight yeah. Batman. <laughs> oh my god! Because I'm an agent. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wes! Oh my god! Did Wesley really just say that? Oh man, that that is like the literally the last thing I ever. He's he's comparing Robert Hess to to um to 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 Kate is Caitlyn Jenner, right? That's what he's that's what he's doing, right? That's the comparison. Or am I crazy? I did not expect that from Wesley. Out of all the out of all the like random references, like pop culture type things he could do, that is like the last one that I ever would have expected. Yeah, that's, that's about Caitlyn Jenner, formerly Bruce Jenner, who um who ran for governor of California um and did not get a lot of votes. So, okay. Wow. Next up, what's this one? Well, my friends, good of you to join me. Danny has banished me from the commentary until I clean up my look. He didn't say I have to clean up my act though. So Maxime, you're already a little upside down. We're gonna have a little Hess's happy hour. Magnus, you look excited, I'm glad you're here. Hikaru, I know every time I suggest something, you're a little skeptical, but it's okay, it's gonna be fun. I got you a little, a little IPA, hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Jan, come on, man. You look happy to be here, too. Bobby's already smiling. Yeah, that's like, that's, ha that's happy Jan. That's like from before he was losing in the match, I'm guessing. We'll take it easy on you. You don't have to chug. You can sip. It's all good. And well, with that, I mean, it's about time. So should we do this thing? Is it time? Oh, boy. Well, cheers to my Super GM friends. It's been good. The World Championship on chess.com. <laughs> That's good too. Oh, he's chugging? <laughs> Even better. Let's do this. That's a good one. That's good. Well done. I was there exactly. Yes, I was there. No, that's, that's really, really good. Really good. All right, what else do we have? We have another one as well. What's this clip? All right, Robert, your thoughts on the first move we will see from the challenger, giving him maybe his best chances uh, for a win. Yeah, no, I think that with move one, he needs to strike. Okay. And I think he's going to... Did whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, Robert, did you Robert, say Robert. adjust? Did you say adjust? <laughs> okay. But did you say adjust? But my opponent wasn't there. It's, I just wanted to make E4. You All right, to, guys. You have to move the knight to C3. Move the knight. You predicted the knight move by touching it. Y'all are harsh. Okay. Yep. Robert's prediction, knight to c3, apparently. Or knight a3. Knight to a3. a3. Novelty. All right. Bobby, your turn. We are going to talk about that later. And I'm not going to let it go unnecessarily so on social media. <laughs> Don't you ever touch a piece without saying adjust again. I learned my lesson. I'm going to, I'm going to avoid touching any piece. All right. That's pretty good, actually. That, that's, a, that's a good troll. All right. What's the next one we have? We, I think we have, like, one more clip. What's this clip? So if you do castle here you know, for black, and I take your bishop on e7, mm -hmm. and you take with the queen, and the question becomes, can I get d4 to work? And mm -hmm. that's a, not an easy move to make because there's a rook coming to d8. And with a4 also on the horizon, perhaps I'm undermining your pawn's defense immediately. And Robert, are we looking at the same possible tactic here? Yeah. I don't think it works, though. You don't? I don't think it works. <laughs> So I, I think guys, I'm in on this inside joke too. <laughs> I also, I also see the tactic, but let's let's show it for everybody. What are they Just wait, what? Because I know you guys see the tactic that I also see. So let's show everybody just in case they don't see it. So after D4, A4, 
Okay. Obviously, yep. The most oh, obvious move for white or the most natural move is knight to c5. Huh? One, right? it's Maybe it's not the best move for white. Everyone needs to show a couple more moves. That's got to be it. Even though we all see it. Right? Oh, there is okay. a move knight takes d4 here. Yeah, yeah it's e5, option. rookie right. one, rookie yeah. eight, rookie and five. And if queen takes d4, there's e5. e5. Uh, and of course, and that's because the bishop now guards the knight. Yeah. Because the move that some people were first thinking in this tactic, rook d8, would be good <laughs> to win the knight, but you lose this knight. I, I think and I'm so right. I yeah. obviously <laughs> saw that along with everybody else. And now, now we're all good. But e5 is key because it oh. removes the queen from defending the knight and protects the knight. It's just good for everyone to see what we see. It is knight takes c4? Okay, yeah. All right, so that's the last clip we have. Eddie Lick for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Minus Symptomatic, Puar, Cheese Louise, and Tinugua. Thank you so much. And Appreciate Magnuses. it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that's pretty good. I don't I don't think we have any other clips right off. I missed the whole joke. Isn't the whole joke... Oh, it's a joke to Danny? Oh, this is something we all see? Oh, okay. I just assumed that they were there was an inside joke between three of them, and they, they saw this tactic. Okay. Fair enough. Fabiano Crypto one, um, I don't know what that is, but if my mods have it, then I could watch it. The whole joke is that Danny didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, watch the one right now. It's new. Okay. What's this one? Okay. Oh, this is a troll. Yeah. And Magnus is pausing to think. There it is. There's the <laughs> troll. Hey, I knew it was coming. I called it. I called the troll. Oh, oh that did. was epic. That was epic, Magnus. <laughs> Should he go find the Arbiter now? And touche, touche, <laughs> Magnus. I love it. And, and especially because they, they, didn't, they haven't really let it go. Oh, by the way, I just noticed something else. Isn't this kind of weird that the chair... Isn't this kind of weird that the chairs have names? Like, that Magnus' chair says Coinbase? Isn't that, like, really kind of weird? I, I, I never noticed this, or that this chair... That Jan's chair says Fos Agro? That's kind of weird, actually. That's really weird. They haven't really let it go. Um... In regards to continuing to discuss a storyline that, you know, is is, I believe, an unfortunate, unfortunate for uh, for the game. But Magnus is uh, clearly sending a troll a troll message to everybody that he's going to touch pieces and not always say adjust, and and that's <laughs> going to be okay. Yes, we'll live. We'll live. But we should still do better. We should still do better. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, we should still do better. Agreed. Totally. We should totally do better. Do better. Do better. The, the funny part is, is the armrest broke. Oh, the armrest broke on the Coinbase chair? Oh, oh, it, his, his chair broke? Does somebody have a clip of that? That is funny. That, that's actually really, really funny. <laughs> oh, did it break today? It broke today, in fact. If somebody, if somebody, if somebody has a clip of that, I would love to watch that clip. Um, if, if there's a clip of it. Not that there is a clip, but if someone happens to have it. First of all, we have Peter. He's both the leader of the team and he's also the adult in the room. Sometimes, at least. He's also probably the only smart guy here. Okay. Then we have perhaps our most important member, which is Fres. He's been uh, here ever since the first one in 2013. I mean, I wanted somebody French in the team. <laughs> And uh, Vachier Lagrave, Bacro was not available, so it was this guy. And uh, now I feel that he's kind of the glue in the group. Everybody loves, everybody laughs with him, mm. they laugh at him. He's done a great job for, uh, for many years. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Jan, he's the go-to guy for both uh, medium culture and low culture references. And it's also pretty good at E5 as black and especially the Marshall. Jordan, also known as the new guy. <laughs> In this team, he fulfills several roles. One is, one is obviously punching bag in, <laughs> in Blitz games. <laughs> no idea is too good or too bad to warrant his attention, which, which is very important. And then finally, of course, we have Daniel, uh, who is, I would say, with Jordan, the, is not as distinctly young, but he's still um, 
he still has the, a bit of the same curiosity, although he has become a bit more selective and a bit more conservative and solid with um, with the years. Are we still talking shit? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a clear dynamic, so if there's a creative idea, it comes from one of these two guys. Mm. If it's a boring idea, it's fresh. If it's a good idea, it's young. Yep. And if it's a crazy idea, it's probably Peter. <laughs> but eventually, Daniel's ideas, with some of the help of the others, become become good. And Jordan's ideas remain to be remain to be seen, but probably <laughs> will be will be good as well. Yeah, I think it's kind of important for him to uh, to actually like the guys. Like for, uh, for instance, Ra Russian team, it, it's exactly the opposite. Like they would normally bring all the biggest guns in. Like it doesn't matter if they're farting, if they're fighting, or if, if they're friends or whatever. I mean, it's basically you, you just use all the power. Yeah. I mean, here we, I mean, it's a European approach mostly. Yeah. I mean, it's basically you, mostly you care about um, some atmosphere and so on, and then only then you need people to to work well. Still, sometimes I feel like I'm responsible for the chess part. Like all these guys are nice guys, and I'm not a nice guy. But uh, I mean, uh, well, check out Sergey's Twitter after you guys. It's kind of a problem. Otherwise, I would never, yeah, I would never be in the team. But I'm joking, of course. I think he, I mean, in general, he, he kind of, he kind of likes us and tends to trust us in general. Then, yeah, we'll see. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I mean, I think there are a couple things to this. First of all, the team makes complete sense. Um, not surprising. Because normally, that's that's why that's why you heard me talk about Potkin earlier. I don't know what Nepo's team exactly was. Um, but generally, what you do is you have, like, the, the whoever's been a long-time trainer or second of the player is, like, the overarching person who see who oversees and delegates or assigns work and then you then you go from there kind of is is what i would say so this makes perfect sense basically yeah you you have Presnay probably looking at some dry sort of lines more on the boring side and then you have dubov and uh dubov and van forest coming with like the crazy lines like the evans gambit or the king's gambit or whatnot and you try to see if those ideas can be refined so it makes perfect sense what what is being said here um and so I had, I mean, basically I had, uh, I had two, I mean, I've had like one or two other people working for me at various times. Um, like for the candidates, I had more, I, you know, I had more than just my current second. So for various events, you do have a bigger team. Um, uh, Peter Heine follows me on Twitter. Not shocking. What was Kari Atkins Twitter? There were two things I want to check. There was a, a Kari Atkins Twitter and there was also Gary's. Um, let me, what, what was Sergey? Let me, let me see Sergey, right? Sergey Kari Atkin. Let me find him. Um, wait, what? Yeah. Okay. Let's pull up Sergey's Twitter. What What do we have here? Um, Sergey. What What did he put? He put. He put LOL. He just said LOL. Why does that mean he's mad? He put LOL. I don't understand. What well, What What's the big deal? People said he was like mad or something. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. I that that just says LOL. How that doesn't really say a whole lot to me. Um, but okay. And then you guys said there was also Gary said something, right? Was was Gary saying something on um on Twitter? Let's see. What did Gary say? Uh, Gary said something too. He said he was absolutely brutal, or at least someone said that. Let's see. What does he have? Tweets and replies. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Enough about human rights. Can we just get to the chest? Okay, here we go. Okay. Congrats to Magnus for a dominant performance versus Nepomniachi, who failed to put up any resistance after the Game 6 loss. Carlson rarely had to show his best here, but you cannot blame the Shark if his opponent becomes a minnow. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's very, very weird. Um, that's a very weird thing. A minnow is what? Is that a... A minnow is... Um, is that a type of fish? A type of fish, right? Or am I crazy? It's a small fish? Okay, let me, let me go Google it. What is it? Um, minnow is a small freshwater fish. Okay, that's kind of okay. Kind of a weird. I don't know. That's 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 a weird thing to say. Um, but you know, you know what I would say. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Gary's basically going after Jan. I mean, Jan made mistakes. Sure, he made some mistakes. I get it. But I mean, Game Six is what it all hinged on. So I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit too much. But yeah, it's, it's what it is. <laughs>